I want to thank those uh, quarter million New Zealand voters who have trusted ACT with their party vote. Uh, we campaigned on a platform of real change to fix the economy by ending government waste to get costs down, by restoring the balance between consequences for criminals and rights for their victims, and to ensure that the division, particularly by race, that has riven New Zealand under the Ardern Hipkins government ends, and we unite New Zealand with a clear understanding of what our treaty means and what it means to be a citizen. Over the coming days and perhaps weeks, we will be working hard with the other parties with which we'd like to form a government in order to come to an arrangement that delivers that change. People want to see a government that can roll up its sleeve and start making the changes that they voted for to relieve them of the considerable pressures that they've experienced over the last six years and in some areas of policy uh, for longer than that. Uh, that is why ACT is here. We're grateful for the support. We can't wait to get stuck in and get to work. How long do you expect that process now to take? Look, I hope that it'll be a matter of days, perhaps less than a week. Well, ACT and National have worked pretty hard on what a deal between us looks like. Um, we would anticipate that we will sit down with all three parties, I expect at some point next week. Uh, we've also reached out separately to New Zealand First and uh, we'll continue to do that as well because ultimately uh, the voters have asked three parties to work together and the voter in an election is king. What the voters have said is that they want us to work together. Uh, they've said that they want change on key policy issues, uh, and that's exactly where we need to focus our efforts. Would you share a cabinet seat with them? Uh, no, not a seat, no. <laughs> <laughs> Far out. That's um. <laughs> uh, if they were if they were two different seats, then then yes, I think that's possible. Is one of the government departments that you think should have their funding cut the electoral commission? Um, well, I think that there's going to have to be a serious question asked. Uh, about how they manage to do so many basic things so poorly. Uh, and then the same question that I think should be applied to any government department, is what are the core activities they need to do well? Are they equipped to do them? Uh, and what else are they doing that they need to stop doing? Um, at the moment, uh, the primary concern is what are the things that they're not doing well? Do you regret what you said about Winston Peters, saying he was the most untrustworthy politician and that you wouldn't sit around the cabinet table with him? Uh, no, I don't. Um, you know, I said that at a time uh, when it appeared unlikely we'd get to this particular point. And uh, now we're here, we've got to respect the will of the voters. Um, but what I said you know, is, is still true. And unfortunately, um, you know, that we now will do our best to deliver the change that people want.